Hello and welcome to Gapey's Greenhouse Garden. I thought I would give a little tour of what's going on in the middle of March. It's March 22nd today. So there's a lot of things that are bolting right now. So all the kale, I've got several varieties of kale in here that I started um, at the end of last year, around I think November or October. And they're almost all of them are, are bolting. And I've also got some mache or I think that's how you say it um, and that's I think starting to bolt I'm not sure how big it's supposed to get I've never grown it before but that's what these little guys here are and then I've got some radishes and those I've pulled a few out and there's some you can see those are are bulbing pretty well but there's a few other ones that didn't bulb well and they're starting to bolt these were the Easter egg radishes so they're coming in, I think three or four different colors there's white purple red and I think pink and then this Swiss chard that that's an ancient Swiss chard that's been in here for probably over a year that just doesn't want to die and then I've got a chervil that is also bolting so it's just starting to get some flowers up here at the top and that just started bolting just in the last week or so. So I think there's actually two or three plants in there. So I need to start using that up. And then I've got a little bit of lettuce. That's grown from lettuce I harvested a few months ago. So it's just starting to, to regrow. There's a little bit there too. So this here is pak choy, or also called bok choy. So those are seedlings that I actually thinned out from my seed starts and I just put them here in the ground just to see if they do anything and it looks like especially that one here it's actually I just put them in here like two or three days ago so they haven't been in here that long and then my arugula that was the first thing that started bolting so that's got tons of flowers I'm surprised the bees haven't found it yet but um, I've been trying to leave my greenhouse door open so that they would find it I know they love these flowers and I have my fig tree that I started from my cutting in here and it's just starting to leaf out and as you can see there's some little baby figs on there so hopefully I may get some figs this year we'll see if they continue to grow but I might leave it in this container or maybe a bigger container for another year before I put it out in the garden and then here's some more kale that's flowering that's pretty much all that's on this side of the greenhouse and then on the other side I've got more kale and most of it is also starting to bolt the flowers haven't quite opened up yet on these and I've got some old onions that I started last year I think last spring I put those in there um, they're not really bulbing so I'll probably pull those out because I'm gonna put peppers in there um, in about a month or so and I've got some more matcha, matcha over here, and more of that pak choy that I that I planted over here, and that's more arugula, more kale. This kale is doing really good. And I actually chopped the flowers off that were coming out of this one, and a couple of these over here because the the aphids were just invading. The, the the sprouts that were coming up from the top so I just cut them off and gave them to the chickens because I don't want aphids in here and they seem to only be going for that top part of the kale so I just got rid of it so I didn't have to worry about it and then I've also got cilantro over here and that's also bolting so that's almost probably three or four almost about three feet tall and I think that's got a couple more onions in the back there that are probably gonna just get pulled out and then the only other thing I have is this mustard which has gotten really tall just in the last week and that's looks like it's starting to flower here pretty soon too and that's all that's in the ground and then I've also got some some starts in the greenhouse so these are all my onion starts I've got I think four different varieties of onions and I've also got some garlic chives and I've got something else what was it leeks the leeks didn't do too well I only ended up getting 
about five or six starts. That's those there in the back. I'm not sure why those didn't germinate very well, but I'll plant them and see how they do. It's the first time I've tried the leeks. And then this is some starts that I actually started in the greenhouse and not inside. And there's some kale in here. And I, I was actually gonna plan on transplanting the kale that was in the greenhouse out in the garden, but since it's all bolting, that's not gonna work. So I decided to go ahead and start some new kale seeds. I've also got marigold, cilantro, amaranth, parsley, and the six different varieties of kale. And two of them have not started coming up yet. And then I've also got a, I believe this is chamomile. I found it growing in the, in the garden, in the raised bed, so I decided to uproot it and put it into a container. And that way I don't have to start any from seed. So that's convenient. And then over here, I tried to plant some lavender from seed, but I just could not get it to germinate. So I decided to go ahead and buy a lavender plant. So I'm going to plant this out in the front yard a little bit later. And then I've also got some English daisies and they're just about starting to bloom. You can see the first flower bud there. So I'm looking forward to that. They're really cute little daisies. And that's all I've got going on in here. So I'll be doing another update and in the next one you'll probably see a lot of this stuff not even here anymore because I need to get it out and get ready for my tomatoes and peppers. So I hope you enjoyed this update and we'll talk to you next time.